You deserve 60 days. As you admitted the charge from the outset, I am reducing it by a third, taking it to 40 days. I order you to pay £150 compensation to Private Malone. Right. Now look at me. This is your second offence in six months. Just as the services have their own justice system, so they have their own way of dealing with service personnel who are sentenced to a period of detention. The Military Corrective Training Center believes that depriving someone of their liberty is punishment enough. Once they are at Colchester, the focus is on retraining, rehabilitation, and resettlement. Okay, the regime is designed to correct the offending behavior, increase people's skills, and show them the principles of good citizenship. You want there are three categories of service personnel under sentence, or SUS. A company, who are staying in the services after their detention or for whom discharge has been applied. D Company, who are being discharged. And Military Custody Platoon, who are under investigation in safe custody or being transferred to a civilian prison or young offenders unit. There are men and women from all three services, the Royal Navy, the Army, and the Royal Air Force, among both SUS and staff. A Company focuses on military training. D Company learns skills which will be useful to them outside of service life, such as trade training courses, education, particularly maths and English, and vocational training. They might participate in community projects and work attachments in the community. The daily regime is challenging and vigorous. It's based on a system of rewards. The focus is on excellence, rebuilding self-esteem and generosity of spirit. Every individual who comes through these gates gets treated equally. We'll try and guide the people in the correct direction, but it's how much they actually want to put in, is how much they're actually going to get out of it. No mobile phones are allowed. They're allowed a free two-minute call when they first arrive, then one free ten-minute call per week. They get more if they make good progress through the staging system. They're authorized additional calls if there is a welfare problem, but these are strictly controlled. Hello. SUS are given a medical before they leave their unit to state that they are fit for detention. They also get a medical when they arrive. MCTC cater for most mental or physical states. Units should contact MCTC if they have any doubts about the suitability or fitness of an SUS. They're allowed a two-hour visit at the weekend after their first weekend in detention. Inevitably, some SUS bring problems with them to Colchester. Where's Mom? There may be legal, See? financial, emotional, oh, sure. medical, or difficulties yeah. at home. You, you get an air they can approach the staff at any time, who may be able to offer advice straight away. Additionally, the welfare service at MCTC is well equipped to help. The service is confidential. An SUS can ask to see the welfare officer on a daily basis. MCTC has a full-time army chaplain. He chats with the SUS while they are taking part in training or in the few moments when they are off duty and is always available to talk through any issues. For those of other faiths, there is a multi-faith room where SUS can go to pray or to be quiet. Through the Padre, they can also get access to their own faith community. The Military Corrective Training Center is an invaluable resource for units, turning round service personnel with discipline problems, using staff who are well-trained, professional, and approachable. They take more or less any person aged 16 or over who is subject to military discipline at any time, post-charge, for any offense and return them to their units or to society with better skills and more self-confidence. 14 days is the minimum sentence to achieve any training benefit, although MCTC will take personnel for shorter periods. MCTC takes women as well as men. Accommodation is separate, but training is mixed. If female SUS need to talk to a female member of staff, there is always one available. MCTC also advise units on custodial matters, be they on a ship, in barracks, on a station, 
whether on operations or not. Staff are carefully selected from all three services and hold a minimum rank of sergeant or service equivalent. Those from the Royal Navy and Royal Air Force tend to be posted to MCTC for a period of 18 months to three years before returning to their own service. Reflecting the number of Army SUS, the majority of MCTC staff come from the military provost staff, which recruits from all parts of the Army. All staff receive three months specialized training to prepare them for the task of caring for SUS and their particular needs. MCTC is inspected frequently by Her Majesty's Inspector of Prisons, even though it's not a prison. MCTC is proud of its record of retraining, rehabilitating and resettling those who have fallen foul of the system. They return them to their units better equipped to deal with the disciplines of service life, thus reducing manpower wastage. Those who are discharged are prepared for civilian life to give them the best chance of making the transition. It's all about taking young men and women who have made a mistake and have fallen off the rails and getting them back on. We provide a training program which gives them a real focus for their energies and take their minds off the problems which have led to them coming here. We have a very comprehensive and professional welfare set up here and we can really deal with some of the underlying problems. And for those who are leaving the services, we have a, a really large uh, comprehensive resettlement and education centre. We get the majority of people who come here back into service as better soldiers.